As of yet, too unbalanced. Yeah, it is for sure. But hold it, we are going live. So no much break here. And hello guys, welcome back to game number four, the last game for today. Um, in this match, NSL Season 1 Week 1 matchup, forward against Nexus Gaming on the map, NS2 Tram, with Nexus Gaming in a lead 3 0. And yeah, close bomb position. And with me again, once more, Gohan Setter from Team HPZ, forecasting. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, let's see how this hey. goes with close spawn. And we already got a four man pressure team. Well, more like a 2 2 1 pressure team or something. Two guys were building uh, the rest of the platform, but we got four marines next to the alien hive. Red 1 is retreating as they were retreating as a base rush was called by forward. And we see three skulks in marine base, oh. only shooting away the IP. The marine's completely out of position. They should have seen it earlier for mezzanine. And they're not yeah, breaking. I, I think this could be GG already. Ah, oh, no, no, no. They should yeah, be able to. They should be coming time. Three Marines, look at that. Beast Mouth, they got Yaps and Psycho. But if they go one by one and lose one by one, they, they will be game over. Yeah. Important they kill. Two Marines alive. Oh, they need to hit but all the bullets now. Come on, guys, you can do this. Oh. One more skull. Psycho. Oh. Yes, he does get it. The wow, com has to lock out. so close. He needs to build an IP, yeah. drop, and log out, help build. Uh, they're immediately dropping two IPs. Yeah. Even though they managed to stay alive here, it, it puts them at such a disadvantage. Yeah, for sure. So aliens As are free see, to expand more to repair rooms, exactly what yeah. I'm trying to do. Already dropping a shell, or uh, processing is up, expanding into repair room. Yeah, this has bought aliens oh, so much time. <laughs> look at that, they're waiting for the next base rush. They're just giving marines time. This vent is so powerful because there's no way marines can pass without you hearing them. No way, unless yeah. of course they're even using a drifter, so you can see it in the minimap. Basically, just waiting to see where the marines go, and once they're gone, they know that the marines oh, do not have the resources. Have spotted. Yeah. But I still know the marines don't have resources to drop an ops, so. Delium tried to mic right away, but here we go. Yeah, Rest Kepper being killed off again, and we see four aliens going from marine base again. Yeah. No mines being researched, only one marine respawning. This is so expensive for marines. Yeah, and I know they, they can take retreat. down the CC faster than the marines are hive. Yeah, especially with WM as a gorge hitting it up already. And we got Horus waiting in repair room for his rest tower as well. Yeah, and the beautiful part is even if they don't succeed, which is looking right now, they still again force all the marines to come back, which yeah, means they buy so much time. Yeah, they even killed off another IP. Which means they never got more than two extractors, right currently. Yeah, and once again, I think Team Forward is just a little bit too aggressive here. As we see them get shotguns instead of mines now. No, nope, this is gonna be an all-in, they know how back they are. They will go for this all-in push with shotguns into warehouse. Well, they need to deal serious damage. Uh, okay. Yeah, we see a crack already next to the hive. Third harvester is about to go up. Oh, spawn player locked out, psycho. I could see that. So it will be down one player even for this final push. This is even oh. more unfortunate. This is so unlucky. Yeah, really bad timing there. But let's be yeah, but honest, they're really back already. So back couldn't blame it on this crash <laughs> if you lose. But I don't think they would, even with four mans, four people alive, or even five, I don't think they would have been able to deal the uh, the required damage, as there's already um, a crack up. Oh, really and, important yeah. cleanup here in North Tunnels. On oh, the next base rush is commencing. Four skulls, but we do have shotguns and tons of marines here as well. Hey, I think. Aliens really should, uh, like, uh, flip the switch, not take marine base anymore, as it's getting pretty useless uh, at this point. I think they should go for the rest of us now, to store marine advance, uh, tech advance even more. And here we go, yeah, platform being chewed on. Yeah, they could actually afford to, to assist up to logistics, maybe even shipping going really crazy on the nodes. 
Uh, there we go. The problem being claimed. Even though shops m may spot it, I don't think there's much Marines can do about it. Oh, and they lost the whole team again near platform. They oh. will lose this extractor. This is really, really painful for them to watch. I really rooted for them to win one of the games because a 4 0 looks pretty, well, you know, not, right. not really resembling the whole whole strengths. I think Ford can do better than that. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, as always, the scores are not always telling the, the whole story. Yeah. And here we go. Very nice calls, just once again by WM. Sending his scouts out to two resource towers. As an iron and Alameda, I think they will both go down as Marines are trying to push into the hive again. Oh, never mind. They're heading down north tunnels. Oh, but I, I don't see. They're even losing all the extractors once more. Oh, but. Oh, it looks like. At least do not have any uh, any life forms around uh, the pair room. The room is totally uncovered. No. Oh, but Marines. <laughs> Marines are not going there, they're actually going or processing. But I think they're still not aware about the, of the hive. But they should they be. They don't know it. It's, it's six minutes in the game, there must be a hive. Since they didn't kill even a harvester, a single one. So that's maybe what? another issue about the timings. Yeah, but them. here we go. Zyp now spotting the hive. Well, but actually, and I think this, this should be pretty it's obvious already that there's 50 a hive. Grown. Yeah, maybe. I think it's probably really this. Uh, and now we see him shooting the hive? Ah, that's okay. He can uh, deal damage in here even with the lone. Why not? I, I like the idea because if his teammates will come later on, it will have like half health. Well, I think. Now yeah. researching shotguns, uh, face tech. I think if he hadn't done anything to the hive, they probably would have been able to get a face gate in there. And if, if it means would have get a, gone up that face gate, the hive would have been dead. And I think that would have gone back forward into the game. I think once again, they were just a little bit too over aggressive there. Uh, the, the big problem I see right now, this map specifically, that Ford is losing not just the important wow. engagements, they lose like all engagements, <laughs> it seems. I think nerves are playing into this game as we see the fifth harvester go down for this game for no, the exactly, yeah. That's really bad. And aliens lost zero. Wow. And Horus is even chewing at the base resource tower of the Marines. <laughs> this is... That's like a BM move. This is yeah. my RT. This is really bad man art. <laughs> yeah. You got three more and, stars coming yeah. in as a wave. And Scythe will. Yeah, repair room finished. Immediately we see Leap started, and I think they will go for um, a shift hive as well right away so they can get celerity. I think another another point to n n um, note on this map is server room is a really tough starting location. So you can really spread with the RTs from like shipping. It's easier to cap from there. Just give a little bit props on that. It's like the pipeline of NS2 Vale. Yeah. Yeah, but I think uh, I think if you start in shipping, you should go for face tech way earlier. So you can spread out easier. You could get a face uh, face gate somewhere around shipping, so you can control basically the whole right side of the map, and still keep pressure up on uh, the warehouse or all processing RTs, as it's quite close from server room to all processing. But yeah, it's it's definitely a tough spot. That's that's for sure. But yeah, leap is finished. Shift shift half upgrade is completed as well. It looks like Ford is going for the last push. They're grouping up in base. The commander even following them. This is gonna be the last push today. As they're going, they recycle the yeah. IPs. They know the game is over. Once again, it's just last man standing. Yeah. All equipped with shotguns. Ford already taking down one. Oh, another two one. Already dead. Uh, three dead. I'm three dead. Sorry. Yeah, Ford's got two kills. And there he goes down. Future got a kill as well. And Celerity is completed now. Yeah. And we even see some. What is it called? Bone walls now? Bone wall or something? Yeah, I think. I the think it is. Station spike is now bone wall. Yeah, we even saw some some of those things go up. Yeah. But yeah, this should be something. the final final battle happening. And here we go. And there it is. 
So this concludes with the 4-0 victory. Nexus Gaming against Forward on this NSL Season 1 Week 1 matchup. So really nice games here and well played. I really indeed, wasn't expecting yeah. this. Uh, me neither, man. I wasn't. Me neither. Is it called neither or neither? <laughs> yes. uh, I think it depends.